How's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. And recently Jackson uploaded a video of a $350 2016 gaming PC build. Now this PC build was including a 6300, 7770, not sure the exact model, and a gigabyte motherboard. Now these components have been like very much questioned in the comments section. So in this video, I'm going to go over the rationale into why these components were chosen and exactly what this workload is going to be used for. Warning, there might be some ranting involved. Roll the intro. First off, the motherboard that we chose was a Gigabyte motherboard, AM3+, Plus, and at a price tag of $50, it fit well into the budget. Now, I've had a lot of comments in the video, and I'm probably going to show some comments below here in regards to the motherboard, saying that this thing is going to fry, this thing's going to die, you've had a lot of issues with it. Now, yes, this motherboard is $50, guys. This is a $50 micro ATX motherboard from Gigabyte and it supports an AM3 Plus mother the AM3 Plus processor. Sorry about that. So the 6300, that's the processor we put in this build. The 6300 is a 6 core processor from AMD. Not a whole lot of power coming from it as far as like heat and dissipation stuff, but this motherboard right here guys works for the build okay yes there's been issues with this motherboard there are people who've had to rma this motherboard but in reality it works it's a motherboard that works one this processor is not going to be overclocked i'm 99.9 .9 sure this processor is not going to be overclocked two we have seen this motherboard and we've had it hands on we've done an unboxing of it before and this thing almost survived our abuse from being put through when we were doing the toaster pc if it wasn't for it being short circuited by a power supply a bajillion times and getting like sparks thrown at it then it probably would have survived so this is a very solid motherboard and from what i've heard we've had no issues with this system so far so yes this motherboard is a 50 dollars motherboard $39 after Maryland rebate, okay? For a motherboard at $39, we weren't expecting military grade class overclocking capability. We were expecting a motherboard that was going to function with the processor. And on to the other processor. You all were talking about how we should use an i3, we should use this, we should use that, we should use this. And this was something that you also mentioned the 6300. The 6300 is an older processor. We understand that fact. The processor is kind of showing its age, but this is what you have to understand. Six physical cores. Now, yes, they're slower single cores in comparison to the i3, the newer i3s, and price to performance, you could get an i3 and probably get a little bit more performance out of it. But the combo here, guys, you have a 6300 and a gigabyte motherboard. These these co this combo is so cheap in comparison to intel i've seen so many intel processors out there to where the motherboards are so expensive you can't get an intel motherboard for really cheap that actually supports the idea that you can upgrade to an i7 intel yes if we were going to upgrade this processor to an i7 in the future go for it get an i3 and eventually upgrade but this system just to get into details this system is mainly for league of legends maybe some counter-strike global offensive and then word processing. That's literally what this system's for. So a 6300 is perfect for this build. You're not going to be doing anything really intensive on this system. This is for Zach's dad. You seen Zach, you saw Zach in the video. He's making like he's not doing anything besides League of Legends gameplay and whatever. And just another thing to clarify with the 6300, if you've been watching our live stream lately, that's being streamed off a 6300. That processor works perfectly for what we're doing. We can live stream, we can do gameplay, no issues at all. This processor is $109 and I've seen it for as low as 70 bucks before. So yes, you could go with an i3, but the 6300 and at the time he bought this processor, I think it was about $89. It's a really great value, so I don't really understand the rationale for you all saying that an i3 is the only option we should have gone with. 6300 was the best option, and 
there's no argument about it. And now about the graphics card, we picked a Radeon 7770. Now yes, this was a card that Jackson had in his system from a while ago, and we counted it as a refurb because you could actually get the refurb for that price. We looked it up online to see what a refurbed R, a Radeon, I'm so used to the R9 series, the Radeon 7770 costs, and it was about $59, so it's a really cheap card. And if you look back in time, maybe about a year, the 7770 was a really compelling card for the value. It was really cheap, and you could get your hands on it really, like, do 1080p gaming with it. You could play 1080p games with CSGO and League of Legends. That's literally all this guy is playing. You all are making this rationale on somebody who's going to be playing a lot. We build our PCs for the thing that it's going to be used for. It's a 6300 with a 7770, a system Jackson used and actually made YouTube videos for the longest time on, but until he started streaming and had like the bottleneck of having to record and lose a little bit of frame rate with the uh, streaming process, he had to upgrade his GPU. And yeah, it's very worthy because what we're doing on YouTube, a better GPU will also benefit him more than you think. So the 7770, yes, it has one gig of VRAM. And there are so many countless videos. I could go up right now and look up gaming on one gig of VRAM. The 7770 on GTA 5. I'm just going to do this right here for you all. If you go on here, there's so many videos. I'm watching the 7770 has one gig of VRAM. And you're playing the game, guys. You're, you're playing it. There's no issues. You're playing the game. Yes, it's at lower settings, but this guy is not wanting an incredible gaming experience on GTA. He's not trying to even play GTA. He's playing League of Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and that's what we mentioned in the video, and we wanted to get that point across. And that's really what this video is for, to explain exactly what we were thinking with this system, because we're getting a lot of hate from it, and people are saying that this is not a really good gaming rig. Yes, we could go with an i3 and a 750. That's what everyone is saying in the comments. But that's not what we were going with. We were going with this build because this is what he wanted. This is a very solid build for what he's doing. And the prices were discounted when we got them. This processor, $89. That motherboard, 50 bucks, 39 with a rebate. If I went for an i3 and whatever, it's going to be a little bit more. Yes, it's going to be a little bit more. But that was the exact budget we had, $350. And we went with it. So this has just been a video to rationalize why we purchased this. And I know this has been more of a rant than anything, but reading the comments is getting kind of frustrating. And I really wanted a video to address this because I know Jackson really wants to address it, but he really just doesn't have the time and energy to do so. So I wanted to address this video real quick. And I hope you guys enjoyed my ranting. And if you have any comments below, I will gladly reply to them and I will rationalize even more with you if you have anything to discuss. I agree. The i3 and 750 is a good option, but not for this build. That's what we're going to be using for, I mean, we could you could get a budget PC with that price. Yes, a 750 and i3 is a good option, and I'm really going off a tangent right now. But for this build, for what we were doing, 6300 and a 7770 did the job for us. End of story, no argument. We don't really need anything else. So thank you guys again. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and have a wonderful day.